Concerns have been raised among U.S.-based businesses due to the current financial crisis in the country, which led to the loss of three banks that supported cryptocurrencies, Silvergate Capital, Silicon Valley Bank, and Signature Bank. Crypto companies appear to be investigating diversification across foreign countries despite the sirens of the waning crisis. European banks appear to be the best option for these American companies in the near future. Switzerland, which is renowned for its banking system and financial system, is the most practical choice while the crisis is still there. According to a Reuters article, U.S. businesses are attempting to create Swiss bank accounts in the wake of the banking industry's catastrophic collapse. Bankers warned that the Swiss companies might not accept them. Due to this, it has become challenging for cryptocurrency companies to get financiers in the U.S. Due to Silvergate Capital's shutdown and the failure of the cryptocurrency exchange FTX in November 2022, pro-crypto banks have suffered a serious setback. Stablecoin reserves were impacted by the current fiasco, which spread to the banking industry. As a result of the regulatory crackdown and the closure of American banks, businesses may be compelled to look for banking partners in the Middle East, Asia, and the previously listed regions of Europe. The renowned Crypto Valley in Zug, Switzerland, known for its private banking system, has been one of the most hospitable places in Europe for the crypto sector as U.S. officials pressure businesses and banking institutions to break alliances. According to Eve Longchamp, managing director of the cryptocurrency-focused SIBA Bank in Switzerland, there has been a significant spike in U.S. visitors to the bank's website. The bank's branches in Singapore, Hong Kong, Abu Dhabi, and Switzerland also reported increasing interest from potential clients embroiled in the U.S. banking crisis during a worldwide conference call on Friday. Eve Longchamp added that crypto firms and other money managers have already started the onboarding process and many calls are scheduled next weeks. Before we continue, I want to remind you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have any questions or thoughts about the topics we're discussing, please leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from our viewers and we'll do our best to respond to as many comments as possible. Now, let's get back to the video. The research claims that the majority of U.S. businesses or businesses engaged in crypto venture capital have shown increased interest in the Swiss-based Arab bank. Prior to Silvergate Capital's failure, these businesses were actively seeking out new clients. Ronnie asserted that he doesn't see another bank giving the structure that Signature Bank and Silvergate provided with their internal, round-the-clock blockchain settlement network with regard to the prospect of foreign countries accepting the capital of U.S. businesses. Dubai has been one of the hot places in the Middle East for cryptocurrency companies seeking for a way out of the turmoil in their native nation. Hong Kong has grown more appealing to the business as a result of their pro-regulatory measures and government's readiness to accept the developing financial sector. With the failure of Silicon Valley Bank on Friday, the financial crisis has now reached European banks as well. For the third day in a row, investors have sold down European bank equities. Yet, with mounting investor apprehension, it was claimed that U.S. banks saw their market value decline by nearly $90 billion on Monday. Shares of Western Alliance Bancorp, PacWest Bancorp, and First Republic Bank all fell precipitously. The entire market value of cryptocurrencies has already crossed $1 trillion. The financial crisis has had an impact on stablecoin reserves, but the cryptocurrency market is still on the rise and aiming for new yearly highs. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this video informative and helpful in staying up to date on the latest developments in Bitcoin and other digital currencies. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on the topics we discussed in this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.